ready? I'm ready. I did last week, and I just changed it up a bit. Can you see it? Yeah, I have contacts. Okay, because I can bring it in closer if you need to. We're good. We're good. Good morning. I'm Amy Marshall. Thank you for joining us for this news update. Topping our news this morning, the investigation continues into an unusual shooting incident here in Tuscaloosa. It happened Sunday morning outside another Broken Egg Cafe on Jack Warner Parkway. Police tell us that a developmentally disabled man was left alone in the car while his caretaker went inside the restaurant. The man left alone in the car, found a handgun, fired at customers who were leaving the restaurant. The victim, a 21-year-old University of Alabama student, was shot in the arm, but we're told his wounds are not life-threatening. The caregiver, 30-year-old Javaris D'Angelo DeBose, has been charged with reckless endangerment and leaving the scene of a crime. Catastrophic flooding from Hurricane Florence continues to spread across the Carolinas. The storm continues to crawl westward, dumping more than 30 inches of rain in spots as fears of fierce historic flooding grew. Tens of thousands of people have been ordered to evacuate along fast-rising rivers in both North and South Carolina. About 70 miles away from the coast, residents near the Lumber River stepped from their homes directly into rescue boats floating in their front yards. The storm's death toll has risen to at least 17 as a three-month-old baby died when a tree fell across a mobile home in North Carolina. The Coleman County School Board voted this week to put In God We Trust on school buildings. The board unanimously approved a resolution to display the motto at all county schools. The move comes after the Alabama legislature voted to allow the motto's use on schools, courthouses, and other public property. School superintendent Shane Barnett says some people may not like the move, but later added that the legislature voted to allow it. Brock Boone, an attorney for the American Civil Liberties Union of Alabama, says he, the display could make some people feel unwelcome. He added that people who are not religious may feel alienated. With their first conference win game in the win column, the Alabama Crimson Tide returns to Bryant Denny Stadium this Saturday. The Aggies of Texas A&M University come to town. Bama got a big road win last Saturday in Oxford, Mississippi. After Ole Miss scored on their first play from scrimmage, the Tide held the Rebels scoreless for the rest of the game. Meanwhile, the Tide scored almost every time they had the ball and left Oxford with a 62-7 win. Texas A&M is ranked 22nd in the country. Saturday's kickoff will be at 2.30 p.m. and can be seen on CBS television. That's the news for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Amy Marshall. Have a great Wednesday.